What is artificial intelligence? Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to Bite Me. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is artificial intelligence. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Few concepts are as poorly understood as artificial intelligence. Opinion surface shows that even top businesses leaders lack a detailed sense of AI and that many ordinary people confused it with super-powered robots or hyper-intelligent devices. Hollywood helps little in this regard by fusing robots and advanced software into self-replicating automatons, such as the Terminator Skynet or the evil hell seen in Arthur Clarke's 2001 A Space Odyssey, which goes rogue after humans' plans to deactivate it. The lack of clarity around the term enables technology pessimists to warn AI will conquer humans, suppress individual freedom, and destroy personal privacy through a digital 1984. Part of the problem is the lack of a uniformly agreed-upon definition. Alan Turing generally is credited with the origin of the concept when he speculated in 1950 about thinking machines that could reason at the level of a human being. His well-known Turing test specifies that computers need to complete reasoning puzzles as well as humans in order to be considered thinking in an autonomous manner. Turing was followed up a few years later by John McCarthy, who first used the term artificial intelligence to denote machines that could think autonomously. He described and the threshold as getting a computer to do things which, when done by people, are said to involve intelligence. Since the 1950s, scientists have argued over what constitutes thinking and intelligence, and what is fully autonomous when it comes to hardware and software. Advanced computers, such as the IBM Watson, already have beaten humans at chess and are capable of instantly processing enormous amounts of information. Today. AI generally is thought to refer to machines that respond to simulations consistent with traditional responses from humans given the human capacity for contemplations, judgments, and intentions. According to researchers Shubhendu and Vijay, these software systems make decisions which normally require a human level of expertise and help people anticipate problems or deal with issues as they come up. As argued by John Allen and myself in an April 2018 paper, such systems have three qualities that constitute the essence of artificial intelligence, intentionality, intelligence, and adaptability. In the reminder of this paper, I discuss these qualities and why it is important to make sure each accords with basic human values. Each of the AI's features has the potential to move civilizations towards forward in a progressive ways. With without adequate safeguards or the incorporations of ethical considerations, the AI utopia can quickly turn into dystopia. Intentionality Artificial intelligence algorithms are designed to make decisions, often using real-time data. They are unlike passive machines that are capable only of mechanical, or predetermined responses. Using sensors, digital data, or remote inputs, they combine information from a variety of different sources, analyze the material instantly, and act on the insight derived from those data. As such, they are designed by human with intentionality and reach conclusions based on their instant analysis. An example from the transportation industry shows how this happens. Autonomous vehicles are equipped with LIDARs and remote sensors that gather information from the vehicle's surroundings. The LIDAR uses slide from the radar to see objects in front and around of the vehicles and make instantaneous decisions regarding the presence of objects, distances, and whether the car is about to hit something. Onboard computers combine this information with sensor data to determine whether there are any dangerous conditions, the vehicle needs to shift lanes, or it should slow or stop completely. All of that materials has to be analyzed instantly to avoid crashes and keep the vehicle in proper lane. With massive improvements in storage systems, processing speeds, and analytic techniques, these algorithms are capable of tremendous sophistications in analysis and decisions making. Financial algorithms can spot minute differentials in stock valuations and undertake market transactions that take advantage of that information. The same logic applies in environmental sustainability systems that use sensors to determine whether someone is in a room and automatically adjust heating, cooling, and lighting based on that information. The goal is to conserve energy and use resources in an optimal manner. As long as these systems conform to important human values, there is little risk of AI going rogue or endangering human beings. Computer can be intentional while analyzing information in ways that augment humans or helps them perform at the higher level. However, if the software is poorly designed or based on incomplete or biased information, it can endanger humanity or replicate past injustice. Intelligence AI is often undertaken in conjunctions with the machine's learning and data analytics, and the resulting combinations enables intelligent decision-making. Machine learning takes data and looks for underlying trends. If it spots something that is relevant for a practical problem, software designers can take that knowledge and use it with the data analytics to understand specific issues. For example, there are AI systems for managing school enrollments. 
They compile information on neighborhood loca locations, desired schools, substantive interests, and the like, and assign pupils to particular schools based on that material. As long as there is a little contentiousness or disagreement regarding basic criteria, these systems work intelligently and effectively. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.